What's up, social media family? Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm here with my oldest child, Malachi Ma Dawson. Malachi Dawson. And we each had a really good prophetic dream recently, so we're going to share these two dreams, have a little dialogue about them, and they're going to go together and make a lot of sense. And ladies, first, oh, Malachi has a YouTube channel. You need to tell everybody that you know to follow her channel. She shares a lot of prophetic insight on there. She is a teenager, and there's a we need a lot of people in her generation walking in the things of God. So tell everybody to follow her, especially if you have anybody in their 20s and teenagers, and they're looking for a very powerful prophetic voice, tell them to follow her channel. Go ahead, Malachi. Okay, so I had this vision, and it was in the middle of prayer, and then I just kind of closed my eyes, and God just showed me that there was like a lake, except the water was very pure, like very blue. And I just saw that the water level started to kind of come up, and I realized I had to go into the water. And so I was really scared because I realized that there was a lot of distance between where I was standing, and there was an island, so I had to go through that water. But the water level started to rise, so I knew I had to get in. And behind me, I heard a voice, and the voice said, um, let me walk with you. And so as soon as that happened, I knew I just felt so much peace. So I turned around and I saw Jesus just come in front of me and he stepped out into the water and turned around and put his hand out to me and said, come on, I won't let you go down. So without hesitation, I just went and I grabbed his hand and he just waded backwards into the water and there was waves crushing all the way around me, but I never went under because I locked eyes with God and I said, perfect love casts out all fear like it says in the Bible. And because that Bible says that, I remembered that verse and I continued to go through the water until I got to the island and I wasn't scared I wasn't fearful of anything going around me the circumstances around me could not compare to the power of that Jesus had and just so whenever I locked eyes with him all fear was gone so that was the vision I had do you want to share anything in the word yes so then um today I was kind of reading in Romans and then I realized that God was um showed me something and normally I've been in Matthew but he just wanted me to read in Romans so I'm gonna read it to you guys and here's what it says Troubles, pressures, and problems are unable to come between us and heaven's love. And it goes down and it starts saying in verse 37, Yet even in the midst of all of these things, we triumph over them. For God has made us to be more than conquerors, and he demonstrated his love for our glorious victory over everything. So now I live with the confidence that there is nothing in the universe with the power to separate us from God's love. I am convinced that his love will triumph over death, life's troubles, fallen angels, or dark rulers in the heavens. There's nothing in our present or our future circumstances that can weaken his love. And I just kept it just kept on going to say, it doesn't matter what trial you go through. It doesn't matter what tribulation you go through. When you lock eyes with heaven, his perfect love will cast out all of that because Jesus already took the keys from hell. He has already won every single battle. So you have no reason to be scared because our God is on our side and he will take care of his children. As I've been going through these phases in my life, I just felt God tell me, I take care of my children. Nothing will come against you. When you lock eyes with me and you give me your hands, you give me your, yes, you just give me your obedience. And if you die to your flesh and become imitators of who I am, then I will lead you into the island. I will lead you to safe ground. All you have to do is just trust in my plan and follow after me. So that's kind of what God has been really been putting on my heart. And it was very inspirational to me. Very inspirational to me too. So I'm going to share the, the word that I had. It was probably about a week ago. I was waking up and it was kind of a dream vision because I think I was asleep, but I was starting to get up. And I just saw like a, a vision of water levels rising. Remember that one Narnia that they were in the room and the water yes. started rising? That's, mm -hmm. what it, that's what it looked like. And the Lord spoke to me and said, water levels are rising. You can be overtaken by the water, which means you'll drown, or you can rise to the top. And if you're like on a float in a pool, it doesn't matter how high or low the water is, you're always on top. Mm -hmm. And so as, as the water levels are rising, as things are rising, in fact, last night in prayer, I just received a word from the Lord that just things are rising right now. Receive correction from the Lord. Make shifts in your life that you need to make because things are stepping up. Things are rising. And right now, God is looking for people who will be on the cutting edge of what he's doing and saying and to lead out. Things from the past aren't going to get it anymore. You're going to have to have the Holy Spirit guiding you, leading you. And as in this, this vision dream I had that the levels were rising, the Lord said, I'm trying to get people to have the faith to rise in this hour, to be the leaders that I need them to be. 
because for so long, it seems like in the body of Christ, when people had a prophetic thought or calling on their life, they thought it was an option, but it's really a mandate. This is the Seven. hour. Thank you, Malka. This is the hour that we need people, the remnant, the body of Christ, the ecclesia to rise and the kingdom people to manifest the things that God has for them because we're in a moment. It's a, it's a different moment, but it is one of the best moments that I've ever experienced in my life because the, the world is shifting and changing so fast. But when you rise to that level and in, in Malachi's vision, you know, if you allow the Lord to lead you, he will position you where you need to be and you will fulfill your kingdom mandate. So one thing also, whenever you were talking, I wanted to touch on is whenever I think of the world, there's a lot of confusion and I felt like God was really calling his people today and saying like how you were saying, take correction, that you have to take God's word every single day. And there was a verse that kind of came to me and it's in this, and um, Paul was writing about what was going on in his way and what was happening in his life. And it says their corrupt logic has been clouded because their hearts are so far from God. And I begin to realize that there's so many people in, in life that we can just see and that their their corrupt logic, that this confusion has gotten to their head. But God is saying, your hearts are far from me, but if you tap into who I am, if you die to your worldly desires, your worldly flesh every single day and become imitators of who I am. In another verse in Ephesians 5, 1, it says, be imitators of God in everything that you do. So if we try to imitate who God is, is and we become more made in his likeness then we're able to take his correction and we know the truth from what's fake in this world and we can really tap into what he's doing so that we can become more like him and go after our purpose wholeheartedly yep and you know if you've never thrown your life 100 percent into the things of god why don't you try why don't you just go after god throw your life into the things of the lord and go after every prophetic word that you know is deep down in your heart and watch what happens. When you mm -hmm. spend time in prayer and fasting and in the word and you got the right people around you, there's no limit to what you can do with your life. You got anything else? Um, no, that's it. All right. You have a good day. Malachi.